channel if you're new here hi hello my name is hannah you should subscribe down below because i post new videos every thursday and sunday today's video is fun and exciting Ooh, my camera battery is flashing that's perfect okay give me a second all right back with a new battery so it's not gonna die on us but today's video like i was saying is really fun and exciting because i have decided that I'm going to be redoing my bathroom. Last school year, we kind of had the bathroom like semi-decorated, but we never officially got like decorative towels or anything like that. And I just decided that I wanted to give it like a like new revamp. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. I have accumulated a bunch of like decorations and a bunch of stuff to decorate the bathroom. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. So the floor of the bathroom is kind of just very plain, like there's not a whole lot of decorations anywhere in the bathroom right now. We have a shower curtain, which is just plain, which is awesome. I'm going to plan on keeping that for the bathroom makeover, but we have the hexagons in the bathroom, which have decorations, but I kind of want to take some of those out and just switch it up. I also want to switch out the decorations on the countertop and as well as just get a new bath mat and a bunch of decorative towels. So that's kind of like the plan for the bathroom. Now I can go ahead and like show you guys a little haul of the things that I have accumulated to decorate the space By the way, I'm gonna be linking everything down below just for you guys to shop if you wanted to buy anything yourself But the first thing being this bath mat right here. It's actually nice and long It's from urban outfitters and it's just like a checkered print and it's like a taupe brown My inspiration for the bathroom was just like very like neutral kind of vibes just like Hands, creams, browns, all that fun stuff. So I got this for the bathroom. So it'll be nice and long so we can step on it when we're getting out of the shower and also be able to stand on it in front of the sink. So this is great. And then like I was saying, we never had like decorative towels to like hang over, you know, like the the bar last year. So I bought some this year and I just got a plain like white set for like the long towels and then for the decorative towels to like hang over they're just like this plain cream colored i don't know i just thought it would look good just like nice and plain also from target i picked up a lot of stuff from like the chip and joanna games like home section just because i think it's really cute and i like the decor so the first thing i got is just this like plain little tray i thought this would be cute on the toilet so got him and then i also got like this matching little basket that i plan on putting like q-tips or cotton rounds in and i think it's cute to like conceal what's in the basket but also like have it be a functional storage piece in the bathroom and then this one is another one i'm pretty sure it's from the chip and joanna Gaines. yeah it is um but this one i planned on just like putting these two on the counter so i could put like cotton rounds in this one and q-tips in this one that way like I don't know it's just gonna be like cute and functional and then also to go on the countertop i have like this little ring organizer thing and i really like this one just because i think it like goes with the vibes but i also ordered this one off of etsy this one's just like white and gold and i don't know next up for the counter i got a new soap we have soap in the bathroom already but this one when i was in anthropology getting the ring thing i saw this and i smelt it and it's so good this is the apricot apricot I don't know how you say it, but uh, Chan Chantilly Creme Cream. Oh, that's just that whole word is just really bad. I don't know if I said any of that correct, but like I wish you guys could smell it. But it's just really good. And yeah, I also got a new trash can. This one's just like really neutral, and yeah, it's pretty big too. This one's from Urban, so got this guy and then like i was saying we already have a shower curtain which is good because i didn't have to buy another one but i did buy these like gold shower curtain rings because i don't know i just i like gold better than silver so i got these they're also from target in the like chip and joanna Gaines, like the magnolia you know like their home decor stuff also from target i got this really cute or not like cute well, I guess it's cute. I don't know. I got this candle. It doesn't really smell the best, but I thought it went with like the decor and everything of like the tan color. So 
that'll hopefully look good somewhere in the bathroom the last thing that i purchased for the bathroom like makeover is this wooden frame this one's from urban i'm sure you could probably find cheaper ones but i bought this one off of urban and then to go in the frame i did another like instant download off of etsy if you guys saw my room makeover at my mom's house i'll have that video linked down below if you haven't seen it but i like did instant downloads off of etsy and i just got them printed and i did the same thing with this so this it's kind of like all folded up but it's just like a sun like sunburst i think is what the description of the photo was but once again it's just like that tan neutral color and i thought it would look good in the bathroom if you guys watched my room makeover from my mom's then you would have known that, like these little guys on this thing literally hurt my fingers so much they're like oh you can't even see them but they're like the little black things that are like holding the cardboard in and they're just so hard to pick up and they hurt my fingers so badly i just like i could barely even pick some of these up i'm gonna have to ow oh my gosh okay i need to go get like a tool or something for this i got my little mini toolbox and i'm gonna use like you know like, the flat screw drive i'm gonna use oh perfect i'm gonna use this little guy to like pick these things up so i don't hurt my fingers oh yeah this is so much easier wow and i'm saving my fingers a win win everyone okay i got them all taken out and now it's time to actually put the print in it i need to take out this cardboard okay what the heck why is this so difficult i just am i okay ah there we go now we can actually put the print inside the frame literally five minutes later and i finally was able to put the cardboard thing back on the thing i don't know why this frame is so difficult but here's what it looks like it looks really cutie so that's all done but my fingers hurt still like so bad i don't even know if you can tell it's not even focusing but yeah my thumbs really hurt so i'm gonna take a break from that and i think we're just gonna go hang and like put away all of this stuff in the bathroom because i'm excited to see what it looks like okay first and foremost we're gonna lay down the bath mat just because i just feel like this yay it's so cute i am a big fan we're now going to put the decorative towels hanging right there on the little towel rack like i was saying earlier they're super wrinkly but i just really don't feel like like putting them through the dryer right now just because i want them on here so we're just gonna deal with the wrinkles and maybe they'll come out later it be cute okay big fan i like how that looks just the wrinkles are just not the best yay looks good big fan next up we are going to be decorating the counters i don't know exactly how like where i'm gonna be placing everything but i have everything and we're just gonna we're just gonna test it all out so these guys are gonna be repurposed elsewhere in the house but we're just gonna put them over here for now my plan is for this little guy i'm going to be putting in my q-tips so we can do that now q-tips are in how exciting now we're gonna do the cotton rounds like i was saying we're gonna put the cotton rounds in this guy just because it's taller so i'll be able to put more cotton oh that's dangerous okay we're gonna be able to fit more cotton rounds in this guy okay perfect cotton rounds fit nicely in there look at me go so i think i want to put them honestly i kind of mm, mm, mm. do i put them i think i put them on this side because there's more space on this side and then we'll have the soap on this side oh you guys can't even see it that's fun all right we're gonna put there we go that's so much better okay those two are gonna go here they look cute and then hmm either this one I can't, in my opinion i don't know i don't know oh i kind of like that better wait i really don't know they both look good i feel like this one matches better probably that one this one yeah okay cool beans next up i want to do the like toilet area i mean we've never had anything on it before but i got that tray so my plan is to put this tray here and then we can put this cutie little candle right there and then i also think i we had on like one of the shelves we had a poopery but i kind of want to use the poopery down here just so it's like more like easily like 
I don't know, like I feel like nobody really noticed it up on the shelves, but there we go. So poopery is there for anyone who needs to go poo poo. <laughs> uh, are you um, leaving that in? Yeah, should I leave? I'm leaving it in. Okay. Anyone who has to go poo poo. Okay, anywho, next up, we're doing the trash can, which I'm excited about because I haven't had a trash can in the bathroom for like the few days that I've been here since I've moved back in. So this is just gonna be nice and convenient. But like, here's the trash can. I just took the tag off of it and it's just gonna go right there. Perfect, amazing. The only thing left to do is hang this like wall print thingy. But the problem is with like this Urban Outfitter stuff. Oh, just kidding. I also have to do this. Okay, we're gonna do that in a little bit. But the problem with like these Urban Outfitters hangers is that like it doesn't come with anything to hang it. So I have to somehow like drill these into here and like figure it out i don't know when i was redoing my room at my mom's i had my cousin do this because it was just like really hard but it's fine we're gonna be a strong independent woman today and do it ourselves like i said i've never done this before but i feel like it can't be that hard right thing is what you have to do is like this wire like goes like this across it but you have to put this little guy like on the frame like here and then you put the wire and you know like the whole thing so i'm hoping that i just i need to get a ruler that's what i need to get okay guys so basically this is just me explaining how to hang this into the wall but nobody really cares so i fast forward it for you you're welcome oh boy i feel like i'm doing nothing i'm literally getting nowhere absolutely nowhere i'm getting nowhere i've been drilling or like you know screwdrivering for a while and that's the only hole i caught i'll be back when i have a real plan okay guys it took some work but i finally did it i got both of them in now basically it's like the easy part and i just have to put like this wire thingy through it and like you know get it all set up and then we're gonna attempt to hang it on the wall well from the last time we talked i was saying i was gonna hang up the poster yeah well i can't because i literally lost the nails like i don't know where i could have put them like i have scoured my entire room and like i unmade my bed and remade my bed because i thought maybe they might be there i looked under my bed they're not there and i looked behind my dresser they're not there i looked literally everywhere and i can't find them so that's really fun, but now what I'm doing, I'm like making a lot of noise It's because I'm taking out the like shower hooks and we're just gonna do the, the curtain instead because I literally can't find them. So that's fun. Okay, but my plan now is to just take these off, but I literally, I don't even know how you take this off. Do you know? Yeah, I do. I'm just not, today's just not my day. Kayla showed me how to do it. I'm just dumb and couldn't figure it out. But now I'm going to start like replacing them with the gold ones and then I'll just show you what it looks like in the end. Okay, that took me way too long, but I think it looks really good. Like, I don't know. It's not like that much of a, a big difference, but I like it and I'm happy with how that looks. Exciting news. So I didn't find the nails, but I found a singular nail. Me and Kayla were looking in my room and we found one, just one. So that's fine. That's all I need to hang this picture. I'm hoping it's going to be like, I'm hoping it's going to be like a sturdy enough nail. But now I'm going to hang the wall art right here. So I have my tape measure because my plan is to measure directly in the middle of like this thing you know i don't i don't even know what if i know what i'm saying i'm just being really handy today look at me go i feel like i'm mr kate so i want the top of the print to be like there and now what i have to do is basically go a little bit lower with the nail because like the wire is lower than the frame does that make any sense probably not but like Hopefully, I don't know. It's fine. We're going to stay there. Hopefully this is a stud. Okay, now that that little guy's in the wall, all I got to do is go like this. <gasps> 
I did it. Look at me. Would you look at that? Call me a handyman. Oh my gosh. Perfectly leveled. Okay, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Wow! Okay, here's what it looks like with the towels. I think it looks really good and like, I don't know. Now the only thing that I have to do is paint these and I'm going to go to the store probably tomorrow to get some like new decor. I think the only one that I'm going to keep is this one just because it kind of already goes with the whole vibe. But I want to get some new decor for those shelves. But yeah, it's coming together good and I'm happy with the progress that we've made. So the next time I see you guys will be when I'm heading to like Target Marshalls or any of those stores to get like decor. All right friends, so we're currently in World Market looking for cute decor and I think I found some. So here's what they look like just like this. It's like a cute little sugar scrub and then this jar. And I kind of want to put some flowers in it. I'm getting really embarrassed, so I'm not going to talk anymore. But, like, yeah, I just, I think we're going to get this stuff, so. I'm back from World Market. I stopped vlogging because people walked by and they were, like, looking at me. And then I just got really embarrassed. So I just stopped vlogging. And, yeah, now I'm home and I'm going to show you guys a little haul of everything that I got at World Market. I got, like, all of this stuff to decorate the like hexagon shelves i took them off the wall because like i said i'm going to be painting them gold which i'm going to be doing tomorrow because i'm getting the paint tomorrow but yeah i just got a bunch of stuff to decorate the shelves the first thing i got is this little candle i thought it went really well with like the colors also it smells good it's a caribbean coconut scented candle so yeah that's really cute and then i also got this little vase to put like these fake flowers in i once again just thought they match really well with the color theme and lastly i got this like salt scrub so i don't know like i thought it matched with everything but also i thought i could use it too so that'll look good on the shelf and then one more thing i went to staples because i'm getting a new print for the like wall art i took it off of the wall because i just thought that like this brown was like too warm tone for the bathroom i don't know so i got a new print off of etsy and i'll like put it on the screen here but that I have to go pick up tomorrow. So when I'm going to like pick up the print tomorrow, I'm going to get some paint too. So tomorrow will be like the final day that we like do everything. And I'm going to be painting and just like putting all the final touches on it. So I can't really do anything for like any more bathroom decor today so i'll just see you guys tomorrow update everyone it's the same day but staples actually called me and said that the print was ready to be picked up so i just went and i picked it up this is what like i'm gonna be replacing like it with the old print and i'm gonna keep the old print just to, like i don't know just because i bought it but this is what the new one looks like super cute i think this is gonna match a lot better with like the browns that are in the bathroom so we're going to switch it out but i'm not going to film myself switching it out because yesterday it took like forever and a half to switch it out so we're just going to do a quick little transition ready set go okay i think that was really bad but here's what it looks like it actually didn't take me that long to switch it out but here she is now we're gonna go hang it up in the bathroom yeah that looks like 20 million times better i just think it like matches better with the towels and like all the other baskets so yay go us now the only thing left to do is to uh what do you call it paint those or like paint the hexagons so that is still tomorrow's project so i will actually see you guys tomorrow now Hi friends, so it's like two days later from the last time I updated you guys, but yesterday I didn't do any work and today we are back in business. We're going to hopefully be able to finish the bathroom like makeover today. I'm hoping it just depends on how fast the paint will dry. But speaking of paint, I did a like online order for Michaels and I just bought like a bunch of paint brushes and some paint. This is just like gold multi-surface gold paint so that's fun but i'm going to be taking these and just like painting you know the black part but i'm hoping it turns out good and i don't just mess it up
so I kind of hate it. Like, I actually really hate it. Literally two minutes into painting, I realized I hated it. And I just didn't like how the paint looked. So I washed it off, and it's all good. And I'm, like, really sad because I wanted them to be black. So I was talking to Kayla, and she was like, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I don't know. And then I had an epiphany. Okay, these little wood pieces are, like, like what do you call it screwed in there so what if i just unscrew them and take them out while i spray paint them and then i'll spray paint them because kayla's dad has gold spray paint and then i can screw them back in right that's what i think it's gonna happen i mean what can go wrong i'm just unscrewing unless i lose a screw but okay yeah this is we're doing this all right folks so we have the hexagons officially all de-wooded that's what i'm gonna say and now all i have to do is spray paint them but i don't have the spray paint right now so i'll just like show you guys next time i have the spray paint and we're gonna be spray painting these hi friends so i honestly don't even know how many days it's been since i last talked to you guys but it is officially spray painting time so I think, yeah, I was telling you guys that I didn't like how the paint looked, and I ordered spray paint from Target, and it finally came in. So, we are now going to be spray painting. I have, like, it all set up in the backyard to, like, spray paint out there and, like, still make sure that I don't get it on the cement. But here's the paint that I have. But basically, I'm just going to be spray painting these, and if they don't look good, then I really don't know what I'm going to do because now I'm... I'm basically stuck with this now, like if it doesn't look good. But I'm gonna set you guys up here and then we're just gonna spray paint right there. I have like set up the cardboard and everything, so I'm gonna spray paint. Hopefully it looks good. All right guys, update. So I am a big fan of how it looks. Like obviously, I need to flip them over and do the other side but like literally that took me two seconds and like I think they look so good and I'm so excited so honestly I don't know how long to wait for it to paint or like for it to dry because it's currently 109 degrees outside and like I don't know like we're gonna like hopefully it doesn't take that long because I'm impatient but I'll just show you guys like when I'm doing it again and like they're all finished because currently this looks amazing yay go team I didn't mess it up so I just finished spray painting the other side I didn't vlog it because I don't know it's the same thing but I'm facetiming mom hi mom hi hello <laughs> but yeah I just finished I'll show you guys I also spray painted the nails that I'm using to like put in the wall because like I want them to be gold too so here's the finished product ooh how fun so now my plan is to just let it like dry all night because I don't want to put wet paint on the wall so that's fun but anywho that's the update see you guys tomorrow when it's time to hang these and then that'll be the end of the bathroom transformation so exciting Excuse my appearance, but I just finished, like, I put the shelves back onto the hexagons, and I feel like they just look so good, like, having them, like, I don't know, now I just, like, see the finished product. But now, the only thing left to do is, like, put them back up on the wall. So, I think I showed you guys, I also spray painted the nails, but now the only thing left, like I was saying, is we're gonna put them on the wall. I'm gonna, hopefully it goes, like, easy and it's not that hard. I don't think it should be that hard because there's already holes in the wall. But, yeah, I'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna hang it back up. So exciting. And then, hold on. And then we're gonna decorate the shelves and that's gonna be this bathroom transformation all complete. Okay, ready, friends? We're gonna screw it back into the wall. I'm so excited. Can you even see? Yeah, you can. Yeehaw. Okay, that's one shelf all complete. It's kind of like hanging off the wall, but it's fine. I'm gonna go like put some stuff on it and we're gonna see how it looks. First one, I got all of this stuff. We're gonna set it there. Hopefully she looks cute. Okay, it's kind of hanging off, but it should be safe, I'm hoping. Big fan. Okay, shelf number two. Okay, shelf number two is all screwed in. The camera bag is flashing. Okay, I'm gonna be fast. Looks so good, everyone. Okay, the bathroom is all complete. So now I'm gonna show you guys the transformation. Are you ready? In three, two, one.
is this bathroom transformation officially all complete it looks so good i'm really obsessed with how it turned out i think my favorite part is the hexagon shelves i just think they look super cute i feel like i showed you guys all the decor before but like i don't know it just looked really good and i was like nervous about the spray paint but she looks so good the like what do you call it toilet i don't know everything just looks so good and i don't know i've been like i just I have no words I'm just a big fan like whenever I'm just like sitting on the toilet looking at that like she's beautiful it's great so yeah and the rug is really nice we're just a big fan all around so go us go room transformation if you guys liked this bathroom transformation make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye